Good morning. Today it's going to be a vlog. I've been reading comments and you guys seem to enjoy the vlogs. Obviously my hair has been freshly done. I had it done yesterday and this is the second time I've gone like a strawberry blonde. This is like the most intense it looks because obviously I just got it done. I have on my Instagram a reel of exactly what my hairdresser did the first time, which bas basically consisted of a full head of highlights so that my hair was like brighter and bleached, and then the two toners mixed on top. One is like a rich auburn, and the other one's like a bright orange copper, like mixed, and then it was a little bit brighter because I had highlights that time. This time, I literally just got the toners mixed on top because it faded and my blonde was coming through again, so we just put the toner on top and it will fade like every wash fades it even more but i loved loved how it faded in my hair i almost left it with like a really natural medium deep golden blonde color so yeah this is it freshly done which is nice i feel like a different person for like two weeks um i have a meeting with patty he's coming back from dropping the kids off at nursery and then we have a meeting well I'm gonna have to start it without him literally in two minutes with our team in South Korea. Then I'm getting a pedicure. There's only a couple days left before our first family vacation this year, which is crazy. I'm so excited. We're going to, I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, Mallorca, one of the islands in Spain. There's a pool, there's an ocean, and it's quality family sweaty time. I'm off to get a pedicure. My toenails, they desperately need it. I am so bad at getting my toenails done because I always forget about it. It's never that warm here for me to even show off my toes, but we are getting them done. Um, I guess the one thing with having your own business is I've been listening to this podcast, Diary of a C CEO with Stephen Bartlett. I think that's how you pronounce it. And there was just one episode that really struck a chord where if you are 51% sure about something, the time that you take to make that decision is more of a repercussion than the actual moment of making that decision. Does that make sense? Probably not, but in my head, there is something that I was like 50-50 with, and I'd say more recently, I was over the 50% line, so I've just kind of made that decision, which definitely puts a longer timeline on some products, and. I just, I actually feel better about it because I'm like, if it can be better, why not make it better? Holiday toenails, check. How fun are those? I always go in with the intention of a creamy white and somehow always go for like a peachy coral. Really pleased. Mmm, come on Cap, stay up. Right, no, don't do this to me in the middle of the holiday. Okay, I think we're good. Are we focused? This camera has seen a better day. I was in town, had my nails done, obviously. I had a couple things delivered in the post. This is from Truth Label, I believe it's called. This is, this is the messenger tee. I've rolled up the sleeves because it comes quite oversized. And it also has, oh my goodness, talk about the worst. Oh my gosh, I can't even do it. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand up and show you because that was horrendous. You can see, nice oversized. Really good quality. It's a, I believe it's a Christian brand, clothing brand down south in Ireland, and it's really like cool is a subjective word, but like androgynous, like um, unisex clothing brand. So they sent over this for me and also a green top, and then two things for Patty, which was really kind. Um, Love the minimalistic approach and the message, obviously. And then I went into Dunn's, which is in Coleraine, and they were having, well, I don't know if they were having a sale, but they had a lot of things on sale, like end of summer sale, which is perfect because we go on holidays on Sunday, and then we also go in September to Portugal. We're taking Patty's parents as like a thank you for just all the help that they've, you know, given us over the last while since launching Pearl Beauty. So this was perfect timing. I literally, it's crazy. All this kid stuff. How cute are these little sandals? I think these were like four pounds. Got those for Olive. Whole bunch of like little tanks, all one pound. Little peach and gray shorts, 
one pound each. That's Oscar's bathing suit that I think his cousin passed down to him. But same with Oscar's shorts and some t-shirts, all one pound. And then <laughs> could not with these little like faux Crocs. Again, one pound. So I got two sizes because I think he's kind of in between them and they're cute. I'm actually gonna start packing for the kids, I think. We're just bringing carry-on individually. It's, uh, it's an easy jet flight. <laughs> Pray for us that we even get there. <laughs> Hopefully it's not been too bad lately, but you never know. Uh, we all have an under the seat luggage, so it's very minimal packing, but because it's 36 plus degrees, we just need bathing suits and like a nighttime outfit, which is like a dress or all of this stuff, which is interchangeable outfits. So yeah, I'm gonna start packing. I forgot to say I went into Super Jug and I bought the Maybelline brow tattoo and I decided to give that little lip liner TikTok viral trick a try. I have the shade light brown and I've put it where I would normally put my lip liner. I'm gonna let it dry, take it off. Could be a disaster, could be perfect for holidays, you never know. <laughs> I decided after doing that little lip tint thing to take off all my makeup and film a little makeup reel of what is in my everyday makeup bag. This is the Finished look, it's just very clean, glossy, fresh, simple, <laughs> all those adjectives. I did, however, use a new face base product. It's the L'Oreal Skin Paradise. It was just sent in the mail from a PR company. And it's a tinter water moisturizer. Really like it, that's an awful angle. Uh, it's a little dark for me. I had to really blend it down and then add like lighter concealer and some powders, but I think I'm gonna bring it on holidays because it has a lot of good stuff in it, and yeah, I like how it's sitting on my skin. I also don't think I'm gonna wear a lot of like full-on face product products on holiday. I think I'm just gonna do like either one of my Charlotte Tilbury or the e.l.f. I have the e.l.f. Flawless Filter thing, or my By Terry CC Serum in Sunny Flash. I feel like that one's just, and then some concealer, like keep it simple. So I might bring this. I think I'm gonna bring this because I don't mind if like I lose it or it doesn't work, you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna bring something that's really expensive. I filmed this makeup, it's on my reels, but for lips, I don't know if that tint really worked. I still put on lip liner to like outline my lips, so I guess it didn't really work. I, like I would not go out to buy that product specifically for that purpose, if you're wondering. I might try it again. Uh, I did know, notice it was on the bottom, like you could really tell. So I think I would like fade it in a little bit more or maybe get a different color. Again, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get it to do that, but I just love lip liner. Like just lip line, lip line, just line your lips. The Truth Apparel also sent this green jumper. They also sent it to Patty, obviously in a bigger size. This is a size small, so I thought I'd try it on for you guys. So obviously quite a oversized fit. I like the color and it's so soft. Like the quality of this is insane. It's cute. It's cute to just like throw on and not really think about anything. Also, maybe I'll show you in this mirror over here. I picked up these linen trousers from Dunn's. I think they were like eight pounds. I got them in a 12, but Definitely too big, I should have got a 10. And you never know with linen if they're gonna be like a small fit or something, so I thought you wanna always size up with linen, but I definitely should have got a true to size, but that's okay. I don't mind if it's a little bit big, I can just hoist it up and put the drawstring on. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we uh, had a little Pearl beauty content day and there was some drama yeah. for Bethany. But we're all you good. Can't tell anymore, you can't tell. A random guy I punched her. Poor guy. I hope he has a, a better encounter with someone else. Yeah. Anyways, girls. Yeah. This is literally the number one reason why I don't vlog anymore because I just forget. I forgot so much to bring out my so much. I forget to bring out my camera to vlog. But today was so busy. We woke up at. Seven. We had a meeting with our marketing team for about an hour. Then I had to hop in the car, met a whole bunch of girls that you saw in that previous clip for some pearl content, um, shot for a couple of hours, 
And then I had my nails done. Really cute. I can show you those. We kept it neutral. Everyone's doing those like Hailey Bieber glazed nails. And I was like, we'll do those later in the year. So we kept the background neutral, but then we did like little cute fluorescent dots so that they're still holiday friendly because again, we're going on holidays. Drink to how many times I've said that in this vlog. <laughs> uh, and also the little like coral dot matches the coral toast. I thought that was a nice little tie together. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a run. And then I actually wanna show you some things that came in from Amazon that I ordered. Some like little random gadgets. Amazon is having a moment. Anyone else agree? Um, and also, I think I'm almost packed fully. The kids are fully packed over, where are we here? Right there, those two bags right there. And then that's my stuff right there. And then I have to take care of that laundry. But we are almost done and now I can just enjoy the weekend. So let me go for a run and then we'll come back with an Amazon haul. Okay, I am back from my run. Potty is here in bed. What are you doing? Hey, what are you vlogging, <laughs> I know, how rare is this? I never rare. vlog. Also, it's gonna change colors because the TV uh, background saver is gonna keep changing. We're really into Dragon's Den and Virgin River. That is our night combo at the moment. I have seen this all over social media. Oh my gosh, this is gonna, you guys are gonna cancel me from vlogs because of how bad. <laughs> Just keep it on one setting. <laughs> this is called a glow cube and it's, you obviously put water in it and it's literally just ice and you put it all over your face in the morning and it's like incredibly firming it makes your skin glowy it like tightens it uh it was quite affordable so i tried well not tried it i haven't tried it yet i bought it and then i don't know really why i got this but i think i had a vision in my head it's the elf clear brow gel and clear mascara and i was thinking on holidays take a drink if I curl my lashes and I just want a little back, a bit of brow shaping, this would be a good little thing. Just, you know, I'm gonna test it tomorrow and see if it actually keeps my lashes in place without adding, you know, black mascara. I don't know, I don't know. I'm really excited about this, really excited. It looks like little cupcakes or little yummy things, but they are beauty sponges. They're like the marshmallow ones. You get a pack of four, which I think is perfect. So I'm gonna bring one on holidays, <laughs> drink. But I thought, oh, how cute. So excited for that, because I was in the market for new sponges. Then I also got, I'm gonna put in, yeah, I've already packed it, a silk scarf, but it comes with different like designs. And I think it was like under five pounds, but I have a vision of wearing it like a bandana top on holidays. So I got that, they have different. Scarf yeah, Patty, people do that, it's trendy. Like. You can do whatever you want. So I'll put a picture of the scarf. Uh, and then I also got two sarongs, really cheap, a black and a white one, just, you know, popping on over a bathing suit. Simple, no fuss. That is it. I'm going to shower. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. Should I just vlog the rest of the weekend because like this is an awful vlog so far and then I'll just have this video up while I'm away on holidays. That's where it's going. That is where it's going. Good morning, happy Friday. <laughs> this is such a shambles, this video. I just did my hair with the Dyson Corel, which is the straightener. And I kind of went back and forth between the Hailey Bieber method, like going, you know, back and forth with the straightener and then curling some pieces. So then it really is like that effortless bedhead vibe. I washed it last night and I'm already loving the color even more. I feel like it takes away the harshness of the toner. It just blends and, oh, why have I not done this color earlier in life? Like, I just feel like it's really complimentary for my skin tone and my hair is thriving. Like, it looks so shiny and healthy. I love it. So today's outfit, I might as well show you, is a two-piece set from Vita Grace. I also have like a baby blue version from Fourth and Reckless. A lot of brands are doing it. You can obviously button it up and have it like looking like pajamas. I have like this little, it's not a sports bra, it's like a little crop top soft lounge shirt. I got it Duns. I think it was like three pounds or something. And then just my flip flops. So really casual, simple. It's sunny today, but it's still cool. So I feel like this is a nice way to wear an all black outfit 
in the middle of summer. Happy Saturday. I think I'm gonna end the vlog today because we leave tomorrow. Oh, maybe I'll vlog a little bit tomorrow. I don't know, maybe I'll do my skincare tonight. Something to entertain you. We are finished packing. Are you finished packing, Patty? I think we're finished packing. I'm so impressed with us. Everything is here that we're bringing for a week. I have the pink bag, the kids have the two backpacks, and then Patty just has a regular backpack. I just booked, our flight's an easy jet flight, so you pay more for like any extra luggage, like if it's even above cabin or checked. So ours is all below seat, so it has to fit under a seat, which is basically just a glorified backpack. So that is all done. However, I wanted to show you this little bag. So there is a local Northern Irish bag brand called Taylor Yates, and it's kind of a funny like connection. One of the girls that works there, she is cousins to someone that I Irish danced with like in my youth, like whenever I was really young. So it's just crazy, the connection whenever you put things together, it's a small country. Uh, these are the linen pants that I was talking about. They are definitely too big. It's the medium, which I thought it said a 12, but I guess it just goes small, medium, large. And because the jawstring isn't actually like connected, it just like pulls it together like that, which I think always looks weird in this area. So I kind of have to leave it like, I don't mind it oversized because I know that's like kind of a vibe, but I might go back and just get the small just so it's a bit more fitted, like higher waisted. Anyways, plain black top. This bag they kindly gifted me. It's like a Bottega green, but it's like a movable in between part. So you can like make it a little bit tighter of a shopper or you can take the little clasp that's in the middle here and have it like a wide shopper which I thought was really cute. This, hands down, is probably my most worn bag come fall winter. Literally have worn it so much. It's the Agnes and it's in like an oxblood color. It's so beautiful. Like obviously when it's filled a little bit more, there's nothing in it. I honestly get so much wear out of it. Out of it. It's like a thick strap. I need to like block this light so you can see it a bit more but I love it and it comes a whole bunch of different colors. So incredible quality, it like softens over time. Oh, I'm obsessed. I might show you my skincare routine tonight because I don't know what's happening with my skin, but it's doing really good, oh, really good. Were we actually depending on me <laughs> doing my skincare routine? We are hours away from driving to the airport to go on our that's right, holidays. So I thought I would just quickly run through the notable skincare products that I've just been seeing incredible change with. I personally, I can only speak for my skin type, but I find my skin works well with a certain roster. It might take a while to figure out what products that roster looks like, you know, like lineup, if you will and it works for like a year tops and then I have to change it again. That's just my skin type, which is oily, acne prone, kind of sensitive. It's just, I just know that from having this kind of skin for 31 years, almost. So notable heroes, we're gonna start off with, let's go with this line, cause this is the same line. So I normally, I use this morning and night. So. Let's start off with morning. In the morning, I wash my face with water, spritz of my Skinition toner, and then I'll always go in with this, same at night, so whenever I cleanse my makeup at night, spritz of toner, this goes on after toner. It is the SkinCeuticals Phyto Corrective Hydrating Smoothing, no, Soothing Fluid for Irritated or Sensitive Skin. Let's see if we can have a moment here for the product. This is what it looks like. It's like a green serum, very cooling and just feels lovely on the skin. After that, this is my morning moisturizer. I don't use this at night. I only use it in the morning before my skin ingredients SPF, which is also hydrating, has a little bit of a tint in it. This is the SkinCeuticals Fido A Plus Brightening Treatment. It's a daily corrective moisturizer to enhance the skin tone, clarity, radiance, and texture. It has three percent 3% azaleic, azaleic acid and 2% arbutin. I've heard of those. 
feel like this line from Skin Ceuticals has been game changing. Like, my skin loves it. I'm also just gonna come up and show you my skin, which is gonna be probably not accurate. So, no active breakouts. I have one that's like cresting over right here, but other than that, I don't even have foundation on my skin. I have concealer, cream bronzer, blush, and a powder, powder in the center. I was trying to remember what I did for church this morning, but no foundation. My skin is staying very balanced. Normally I can almost guarantee I'll break out in that hormonal area every time I'm getting my period and I'm just finishing my period and that was the only thing, which was something I caught, probably could have avoided if I didn't like go to town on like one little thing I thought was gonna be something. I made it something by picking at it, don't pick your skin. So those two notable notable pro products for sure have been game changing. Also loving this from La, La Roche Posay, which is a, an incredible skincare brand. If you want to like invest a little bit more in your skin rather than like drug store skin, which there's some okay products for sure, but I think if you want really great skin, you're gonna have to invest in it. That's just my personal opinion. This is amazing though, it's the Pure Niacinamide Serum. It's the anti-dark spot concentrate repairing and brightening. I tend to use this morning and night to be fair. I, I would use it before my moisturizer, but after this one, serums can all be layered on top of each other. I would just go by like thickness. So I'd start with your thinnest one and then move up to your thicker ones. So I normally put this one on first and this one after. And then my nighttime moisturizer is the Ink Inky List. Incredible affordable skincare line. I swear by their retinol, which I would do every two nights. Um, also make sure you wear an SPF if you're gonna do retinol. And then this is the vitamin B, C, and E moisturizer. And it's just perfect. I love using it at night. It just feels that slight bit more hydrating than this, which I like a lighter moisturizer in the day because I use the SPF on top, which is quite a moisturizing product, so it's almost like another layer of moisture, where this one has enough moisture for me personally at night. Those four products have been very notable in my skincare routine, and like I mentioned, everything else is like kind of the same things I've been using, but those have been like the main switch ups that have stuck and I've seen results. I hope you enjoyed this random vlog. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog again for a while because I'm clearly really awful at it. I am literally going to be out of office this week. I'm not posting on Instagram. This is gonna go up automatically. Well, everything will be scheduled. And if there's anything that goes up on Instagram, it's a pre-scheduled. Thing as well but i hope you enjoy and have a lovely rest of your summer i'll see you in a tutorial later this month enjoy maybe a birthday tutorial it's my birthday soon see ya